This single Asian American man is wondering why he mostly only matches with Asian born women on the dating apps, even though he's born in America. Let's talk about why. The unexplainable quandaries of Asian American life, especially for Chinese Americans. Let's get into it. Um, he says he's a 28 year old male. He lives in the Bay Area. He's Chinese American, but he's only matching with girls that were born in China, Hong Kong, Singapore, Taiwan, on the apps and he basically was like why is that I, I don't get it i'm asian american i'm born in america i feel like i'm pretty american how come i'm only matching with fob chicks oh man how much self-awareness can you lack my friend oh my goodness hopefully you watch this video and uh hopefully it's insightful or helpful at all Listen, guys, check out Smala Sauce at smalasauce.com. It is available for pre-order. We sold out the first batch. The big next batch is coming in. Um, Andrew, let me start off by this book, reading an ex excerpt from a book by Lois Lerng, Andrew. This is a book. You can check it out on Amazon right now called Asians Don't Date. Rita Gao and Kai Chung are at a crossroads. As Asian Americans, they've dated their social engineered lanes. Kai only dates Asian women from Asia, and Rita only dates white men. Andrew, this is an actual book that is written about social engineered lanes. Um, so yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's pretty common for Asian American guys to date fob girls. It's not as common for Asian American girls to date fob guys. I know a couple Korean girls who did it but outside of that, I almost never seen it. Okay, so I guess my um, questions for this guy making this post, because he doesn't post any pictures of himself. He didn't post his uh, Tinder, Hinge, or Coffee Meets Bagel profile. He didn't, he didn't show us what he looks like and what he's writing. But I can tell you this, that especially in the Bay Area, if you are only matching with Asian-born women, that is because you appear to be Asian-born. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're one of the stylish type, but you have to understand and look at yourself. If you have the black rim glasses, I don't know how he looks. You're talking about the square joints. Yeah, but if you don't even have one of the American or stylish haircuts, like a two-block cut, a faux hawk, a pompadour, a man bun, a hard part, or the messy French crop, and you're an Asian guy, you pretty much... Uh, probably appear like a, I'm guessing, an Asian-born computer programmer, which is nothing, there's nothing wrong with that, right. but you just have to understand you're not going to get the mass pool. You're not going to attract a lot of Asian-American women that or way. Or he could be more in the church lane. Like, there's sort of this, like, church Asian guy look that appeals more to fob women. And also, it depends on what type of fob women is he even matching with, like the hyper stylish ones with tattoos, which are starting to like become an I'm guessing now. not. I'm guessing not. Right, right, type. right. Um, people go on to break it down. Andrew, would you agree that Coffee Meets Bagel is more for people who want to get married, though? Yes. So here's the thing about Coffee Meets Bagel. Shout out to Coffee Meets Bagel, by the way. It is more for serious daters and people who are looking to actually date and not just for fun. But with that said... I think the slightly more wholesome branding and the wholesome crowd means that there is going to be more traditional women on that app. So therefore, there are more Asian born women and women from like even other countries who are more looking for a relationship, not just to have fun. Right. Derek, there are other apps. I'm Derek, I'm looking to marry eventually. <laughs> you, that yeah. will take me serious. Yeah, obviously the other apps are a little bit more Americanized, but I'm saying clearly this guy's profile right. doesn't sound like a fun I'm just trying to, I'm a cool guy trying to have fun. Profile. And you know what the weird thing is? A lot of ABC guys, and particularly as the Chinese American guy thing, because I think they lack the most bro coaching out of, to be honest, every single Asian group on an aggregate average medium basis. Uh, sometimes they will like want ABG Asian American girls, but not look anything close to like what the realm of an ABG or even an ABG S girl likes. Yeah. Listen, there's nothing wrong with, Fob women, man. I will tell you this. My my first girlfriend in LA was a fob. And we met in the most fobbiest manner. She was a fob from China. From Dongbei. Yeah, from Dongbei. She was uh, from Liaoning. And uh, we met on WeChat. I was on WeChat at the time. And we ended up connecting... And she was very pretty, good looking. She had, she liked to have fun. She, her English was heavily accented. You know, I learned a little bit of Chinese through her, but mostly we spoke English because she was trying to work on our English at the time. And uh, yeah, that was my first real Fabi girlfriend. And there was nothing wrong with her. I think for me, there was a slight cultural rift because I think she was a little bit too fresh. You know what I mean? Like she didn't like go to college in America and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, what I'm trying to say is, 
if you're only attracting fob women, there's nothing wrong with that. Yes. But you just have to know why you are. So don't lack some self-awareness. There is nothing wrong with having your dating photos be at omakase, be at hot, a nice hot pot restaurant, uh, KBBQ, nice Thai restaurants. But you have to understand that is more catering to women from Asia because women from Asia typically spend more t uh, a higher distribution pie slice of their time at those type of spots. Yeah, like if you're trying to attract Asian American women or Americanized women of any sort, you'd have to show yourself in more like American context, like you with non-Asian friends or you doing something that's very American, you at a bar, right. like not just at Asian restaurants doing super Asian things, even though maybe that's what you like to do. So. Yeah, 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 I think that, you know, obviously we talk about both sides of it a lot on this channel, like maybe do... Asian women give Asian guys the most chances in the world before they jump to uh, white guys. Probably not. But do Asian guys also understand the game and the IQ of the gameplay and the play action and the schematics enough? Probably not dude, for sure, too. Dude, I know a lot of Asian dudes, and I've seen a lot of these profiles of Asian guys that I will tell you this. A lot of Asian dudes out there just do not have self-awareness and do not understand how they're being perceived. And especially I think, Chinese guys. Espe especially keep it real, especially <clears throat> Chinese. Especially Chinese guys, but you got to keep it real with yourself and get some real feedback. Um, somebody said, lots of Chinese-born women see ABCs as higher status. Notice I didn't say all, but it's definitely a thing. Here's what I noticed. The really rich, super hot four or die girls, which are like the super, I'm talking about like millions, millions, super millionaires. You're talking about the rich, beautiful, Xiao Hong Shu, little red book, stylish They're, they're looking for usually the guy equivalent. But yeah, you're right. There's more like, it depends if they went to international school, American school, Canadian school, half English school. There's like bilingual schools now that are not politically affiliated. You have to understand that whole breakdown. Um, but I will say this, sometimes fob women view Asian American guys, like we're hoppers. The way like an Asian American guy views a hoppa, that's how they view us. Get, get spotted a few extra points. Um, somebody said, I feel like it's an, a girl not from the US is an upgrade to a lot of Asian American females because at least they're proud of being Asian. Yeah, that's another comment. I mean, I think it's, it's, it's a mix and match, but that certainly could be true. Somebody said that dating apps are just overrated in general nowadays, and there was a bunch of arguing over that. Of course, here's the thing, man. If you can figure out how to have leverage on the apps and you can deal with the ghosting, it's still better because it's still widening your pool way beyond who you can meet on a regular day-to-day -day basis, right? So exactly. uh, I agree. Of course, um, people, you know, talking about CMB getting married. Like you said, Andrew, people are talking about, let me see your profile because how your profile looks will lean you into one direction or another because this other guy was saying, man, I'm really free-spirited in my profile. I got a lot of photos outdoor. I got long hair, and I attract a lot of white women. Exactly. See? You look like a free-spirited, spiritual, free... I don't Guru, even know. Like, like, a, uh, like a healer, like a... Outdoorsy guy. Dude, dude, non-Asian, particularly white women, love outdoorsiness. Yeah, or but Amer guru looks. Yeah, Asian-American women like to see you in the outdoors, too. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I will say this. I think that it is stupid for any Asian-American guy, especially if you're a little bit more on the traditional side, to not date fob women. That is unbelievable because I would say also that fob women nowadays, they look a lot better too. Or like the, like just the image is a lot different than 10, 20 years ago. Yeah, I can't believe this guy is complaining, man. What a fool, man. Honestly, I need to see his profile, but just this guy lacks so much self-awareness. No, because he could be a nerd that wants Asian American ABGs, oh. but they don't want anything to do with him. Or he might want wa wa those whitewashed Asian girls in the white sorority. They don't want him. Dude, fob So just go with Asian girls. They like Asian food. They like Asian history. They like Asian music and stuff. Yeah, fob women can be great, man. They're like more in tune with the culture. They're generally, I guess, they embody a little bit more like traditional values. Yeah, they can go to 88 they Rising appreciate. concerts together. Yeah, they appreciate like the Asian man, even probably on a higher percentage percentage basis but anyways guys uh listen this guy clearly is uh having dating issues and he can't understand why and that's too bad but hopefully this video helped and hopefully this helped anybody out there who's wondering the same question yeah right. let us know what you guys think in the comment section below until next time with the hot pot boys we out peace